Women who need breast lifts, for the most part, will be mothers who breastfed their children. But that is not the sum total. There are some young women who simply due to the way that their bodies develop, had the breasts drop more than they would like. They are also very good candidates for an isolated breast lift. Unlike hospitals who routinely use general anesthesia for cosmetic surgeries, here at Wellesley Cosmetic Surgery, we use intravenous sedation. The advantage of that is that it speeds up post-operative recovery immediately after surgery. There's less nausea, there's less vomiting, which means the patient wakes up faster, feels comfortable faster, and can get home to their comfortable bed faster. The recovery time for a breast lift on average is five to seven days. After about a week, a patient is able to return to work, certainly. A lot of patients will resume other daily activities. And certainly within two weeks, overwhelming majority of the patients will come back to the gym or will resume jogging or any other athletic activity they normally would do. It's very important to establish a proper doctor-patient relationship, but it's even more important to establish a proper person-person relationship, which is why I never jump into the physical exam right away. I take the time to talk to the patient, to make the patient feel comfortable with me, and once the patient verbalizes their fears and aspirations and their goals, doing a physical exam becomes simply a natural extension of the consultation. By that time, there is really no awkwardness anymore. My experience with breast lifts is very extensive. I would estimate that I have approximately six or 700 of these cases under my belt. I've been doing this for just over 20 years, and I do adjust my techniques based on current research.